Russell Inga won his first in 2005. Rick Kelly won his first here last year. And now either Jamie Wincup or Garth Tander will become the title holder for the first time. They head out on the warm-up lap. All 31 cars starting on the grid. Of course, John Bow about to grid up for his final race of his supercar career, touring car career. Here is the Fuso start grid. A race three. Tander and Todd Kelly at the start on the front row of the grid. Behind them, that's where we find Wind Cup and Winterbottom. So two Holdens on the front, two Fords on the second row. Then it's split here. We've got car 200 of Mark Scaife and car 888 of Craig Lowndes. Both former champions. James Courtney starting from seventh. Rick Kelly for the final time. Number one on his door. Will Davison and Lee Holdsworth, as I mentioned, the young guns inside the top ten yet again. It's a fitting way for them to finish off this season. Stephen Richards has had to fight his way back from pit lane penalties and big offs as well. And Greg Murphy and Shane Van Gisbergen form an all-Kiwi pairing on positions 13 and 14. Looking through some numbers here, just supporting our front-running contenders. And Garth Tander has been first, second or third 19 times in 36 races. That's very impressive. And of course, 15 race wins. Jamie Wincup, five race wins. And in terms of rounds, and this is something that you were talking about earlier, Matthew, Jamie's had four round wins, Garth has had three. It's in many respects a shame that it comes down to the toss of the coin in the last race of the season. It makes it incredibly exciting for us. But these two fellows have done an outstanding job. And if you just looked at the raw data across the entire season and said 2007, who are the outstanding performers? It is both of those two drivers. And I think it's fitting that it comes down to a battle at the last round, the last day. And uh, they're the men, so they deserve to be there. And this is going to be an awesome battle. The problem for Andrew Jones, starting from 31st in the last race, was that uh, flicked a valve out of the rim and popped him to the rear of the grid. And power steering driver in the sister car for Simon Wills. Seven cylinders was the problem for Cam McConville. Absolutely onto that, Neil. I was just going to say, uh, engine changes for Paul Morris and also Cam McConville. Clutch changes for Rick Kelly and Todd Kelly during the, uh, the spell between race two and three. Quick uh, update on the weather. Wind has dropped a little bit. It's 33 degrees outside. Track temp 39. It's the hottest over the three-day period. And, guys, Garth's got grip. He saved his best tyres till last, so watch out for Garth Tander. Also, tweaked a little bit with the aerodynamics packages. Give I mentioned that wind's changed a little bit, and they've changed his aerodynamics to suit. Interesting without direct sunlight on the road what impact that has on lap speed but as the boys just explained we've got a slight variation in the wind and certainly the temperatures up out there Cam McConville of course and Paul Dumbrell be on the move in 2008 and while they grid up I just want to take a moment to briefly wish uh, our course commentator a voice and face very well known to a lot of V8 supercar fans right around the country and indeed to our other parts of the world, world, Barry Oliver, his final race behind the microphone at the track, and we wish you well, Barry. So a 27-lap race, 120 kilometres to decide the championship of 07. And it's a race where all key parties play for keeps. No hold back at all. Big chance this is going to be an aggressive race. Wind is still strong, coming from left to right on your screen. So behind them as they head to that ultra-fast turn one. After nine months on the road, this is what it's come down to. Who will deliver in the final race? Kelly got off to a pretty good start. Tander and Wind Cup trail each other. And Todd Kelly will take the lead down to turn one. Wind Cup to third. So got one of the boxes ticked that was important. Didn't look like he made a great start, but he's, he's held his position. A very aggressive move from Craig Lowndes to make sure he got in front of Mark Scaife. And it allows him to give some cover behind his teammate who's fighting for the title. There he is, Lowndes. Went from sixth up to fifth. 
Winterbottom well positioned as well. Strategy and a quick car did a good job for him in race two. Lots of crunch, push and shove at turn four. Mark Winterbottom's actually dropped out of that top five. So the top four is Todd Kelly. It's Garth Tander, Jamie Wincup, then Craig Lowndes. Excellent cold tyre lap for Todd Kelly, picking up the form that he had here in 2006. Jamie's very close to the back of Garth Tander. Remember the one and only job that Jamie Wincup has to think about is to get in front and try and stay in front of Garth Tander. Then it'll come down to how many positions he can put himself in front. Good corner exit there for Garth Tander, making a tiny bit of ground in the draft of Todd Kelly's car. Has a look. He'll, if he can, he'll want to get around Todd to try and keep the pressure off him from Wind Cup. The other thing, of course, that he needs to think about here, and they'll have discussed this in detail inside their transporters in both camps, but with the margin that Garth has, he doesn't need to play for sheep stations if it turns out that Jamie's got a better car at this moment. So if Jamie does go to second, Garth drops back to third, it's not the end of the universe, but that's a very difficult thing to sell to a driver's mind right now. two guys in lap performance all the way to the end of this championship. The throttle resets there at turn nine for Jamie. Last time around it was two tenths of a second between Kelly and Tander. The first flying lap shows us the time, 136.46. It's now half a second between Kelly and Tander. Jamie Wincup another half a second back. 1.3 seconds adrift is the man you're riding with, Craig Lowndes. four tenths quicker than Garth Tander on that lap, who in turn was a tenth quicker than Jamie Wincup. Looking at their splits now as they come down to the turn four hairpin, both Todd and Garth a tenth quicker than Jamie on this lap. Just see where their performance bottoms out to once tyre temperature and pressure has been normalised. How much pressure is going to be on these crews when the Compulsory pit stop window opens on lap five for two tyres. We've seen more people probably changing rears than the working side tyres. Will that strategy change in this last race? In the elbows out approach to turn one on lap one between uh, Craig Lowndes and Mark Scaife. Mark Winterbottom was the biggest loser. He dropped a couple of spots and now he finds himself with James Courtney. So that's sixth and seventh. Davison and Rick Kelly and Stephen Johnson inside the top 10. Been remarkably clean starts to all three races. You know, the first couple of laps here, particularly down at the hairpin, are typically chaos. Wasn't the case this time. And here comes Rick looking, can't get it done. Will was pretty aggressive down the inside there. Great year to Will Davison. Wants to finish it off strongly in preparation for 2008. Ooh, Rick just drops 
the left rear off the corner of the curb exit there on turn four. See one tiny little thing, Matty, just instantly turns into two or three or four car lengths in a heartbeat. Problems here for Simon Wills, second race in a row that he's ended up back in the garage. It's been something of a nervous, cautious, careful approach to the opening laps. They're all showing good speed. Nothing out of the ordinary yet. Kelly leads them around. Tanda would be comfortable in second, and that's why. Because he's getting the word that he's pulling away, and he certainly is. Half a second on that lap over Jamie Wincup. 36-4 for Garth Tanda, 36-9 for Jamie Wincup. First five cars in the field are in the 1 minute 36s, and then from Mark Winterbottom down, there's a batch of about five in the 37s, and then from Stephen Johnson back, who is 12th, they're in the 38s. Give you an idea of the gaps here. Todd Kelly first, Garth Tander second, Jamie Wincup third, Lowndes, Scaife, Winterbottom, Courtney, Davison, Kelly, Holdsworth, Richards, Johnson, Murphy, Ingle, Bright, then Canto, Jason Richards climbing back up. Marcus Marshall, Steve Owen, a bit uncertain for his future for 2008. Max Wilson, that's the top 20. Aside from the roar of these cars snaking their way around this spectacular circuit, there's an eerie feeling about this race. Fastest split to the second sector on this lap. It's actually been Jason Richards, the fastest of the race so far, at 1 minute 9.4. Verifies the pace that he showed yesterday before he came unstuck down at turn two. It's interesting, just before we went to the break, we were looking at shots of the rear of Jamie Wincup's car, and it just looked a little nervous down there at turn one. Looking again now over the top of Lukey Heights. He has lost a little bit of ground to the first two cars, and I just don't think the car is where he wants it to be right at the moment. Curious to see whether or not they make any changes. Problem here for Steve Owen, the rear of the car. Guys, this is incredible. There is a standoff in pit lane. It's a watching me, watching you situation. Rob Crawford from Toll HSV was watching Team Vodafone to see when they're pitting Jamie. Now they've set up for a pit stop, so Toll have quickly laid their gear out. They're going to bring Garth in. Well, Jamie Winkup is certainly in. Rick Kelly coming in. Yeah, they've left Garth out there. He's okay, heading down to turn go, away, four. Go, so they got him processed quickly. We need to get out there and make the most of these, mate. Head down. Sounds like he's got good incoming tyres, as you'd expect, on Wind Cup's car. Clean stops for the key runners so far, and rears only we've seen. Not working, so... Todd Kelly continues to lead the race. They're heading up to Lukey Heights at the moment. Garth Tander tucked in behind, and a gap then back to Craig Lowndes, remembering that Cup just peeled away. So the question now for Toll is, how long will they leave Garth Tander out there? Depends on his lap speed, and it'll depend on what sort of pace Cup instantly shows. Again, they're in the slightly luxurious position of not needing to freak out because of the cushion they have for points. Thirty-six seven for Todd Kelly, thirty-six five for Garth Tander, thirty-six four for Craig Lowndes. Take us a little while to process the numbers for Jamie Wincup because this is an outlap for him starting from the pit lane. 
the next lap will be critical. They're going to bring Todd Kelly in this lap. So Tanda's pace is at least as good as the fastest cars in the field, but certainly not runaway pace. Go, 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 go. Nice stop. Okay, mate, just leave me a slide off. Watching for Courtney on the exit. Lots of space for FPR to operate in then. The reason they know where the car's going to drop in to the field, they have data that tells them precisely where it's going to log. Predictive data will tell them the lines on the screen exactly how he's going to slot back in. And that's the reason why Clinton's able to give Mark Winterbottom an idea as to the car he should look for in the mirror. This lap that they're on now, you would have seen a wind cup come flying past. This will be the lap that will tell us what type of times he can post right now and therefore may well determine when Garth Tander comes in, how long he's prepared to stay out. Todd Kelly's gone in. So Tander's out there on his own. Seven even that lap for Garth Tander. 36-6 for Craig Lowndes. Seven even for Mark Scape. Lap time I want to see is that of uh, Jamie Wincup. He's uh, still got another two sectors to run on this lap. And we'll see how those tyres settle in on the rear of his car and whether or not he's been traffic affected. Todd Kelly. Cup has in fact now done the fastest split to the second sector. So he's got good pace in that car on better rear tyres. And he's coming now to the start finish line. Here he is. As Kelly rejoins, Jamie Wincup goes over, does a 136.01. Yep, so he's making pace. They need to now respond or he's going to round up Tanda. I'd be bringing Garth in right now, this instant get him on the better tyre set because the longer he stays out there the more likely he is to lose position, track position to Jamie. Then things can unravel. Everybody sees the same data that we do. That I'm sure will be the strategy at Toll HSV. Well these guys are down at turn four. Gartander is coming around towards the final turn. The other problem that uh, Jamie's got is Todd Kelly here. Tanda's going again for another one. He's just done a 137-1 across the control line. So effectively, on the last laps that they just did back to back, Jamie Wincup had Garth's measure by over a second. A second. At the moment, our only concern will be the HRT car. I'll talk you through it. Just overshot slightly then. No, away you go, Pit lane's clear, away you go, nice work. Guys, there was some sort of confusion here at Toll HSB. They were all set for Garth Tander, and they set him around for one more lap. Now, it may have something to do with uh, Craig Lowndes being in pit lane at the same time. Hard to say. We'll get to the bottom of it. But for some reason, they've set him around, and they are now set up for Garth Tander to come in on this lap. I think you identified uh, earlier in the day that uh, it's, it's very congested in the pit lane down there, and so they need a clean and entry and exit. If they felt that was compromised in any way, they've decided to leave him out. And again, I make the point, they've got the buffer of the points up their sleeve. They can drop track position to Jamie, but it's not ideal because other things can then go wrong. The best place for Garth to race is as close as he can get to the front of the field. Clear, cleanest, clearest air. But uh, based on the performance that Jamie's got in that car at the moment, he doesn't need to uh, sit around too long or the order is going to change. Goodbye. Problem here in the Tasman hey, mate. Uh, Motorsport Garage, the Rockstar cars. They've all dived under the bonnet. Bit of an issue. And, uh, it's Jason Richards. OK, and Tanda's in the lane. Leaves Jason Bright as the race leader. Ten laps completed. 
has to be flawless. Go, go, go. You're right. Get out of the way of FDR. Come on. Big time left to May. You're going to have to block your line. Watch for Todd and then we've come. So we have the pressure here. So Kelly comes out. There goes Wind Cup. And Lowndes wants to buy into it as well, down to turn one. What a gutsy move. Oh, Craig's in trouble here. He had to get right out of the throttle. He's lost his spot. A little bit of a push. Did they touch? Not an ideal spot for Tan to sandwich between those two cars. On cold tyres. So on corrected order, Todd Kelly is the race leader. Wind Cup has the positional advantage over Tanda. Tanda's going to have a lot of bite in those rear tyres when they come up. He's going to poke and probe and look for ways here. And there's high risk at stake here. Once these cars start to bump and grind, you can change the championship outcome real quick. The whole world has changed now for Garth Tanda. And the two teams involved. Triple eight. Top left. Toll HSB. Oh. Some sweaty palms in both garages. On the left, in the HSV shot that we had, it was Rob Crawford, team manager, on his uh, on a right of the shot, I should say, Matthew Nilsson. In the triple uh, eight garage, Campbell Little looking on. What an interesting battle. Yeah, that extra lap hurt him. That is Tanda. Definitely hurt him. It looks like some slick pick work is what's put Triple Eight right back in this competition. We know that we spoke about a little earlier on that there was a ticket to Bangkok if they can get it three seconds on the knocker. Well, it was 3.9 for Jamie Wincup, about a second off a really super fast time, but about three on the nose for Craig Lowndes, which is, which is what has put him right on the back of Garth Tander right now. Just saw a shot of Garth's wife, Leanne, looking anxiously and nervously on. She knows now that... Uh, Husband's got his hands full out there by way of Wink up in front and now Lowndes right on him. Soak this up, folks. It's world class motor racing. The best in the business and the best teams, and there's nothing in this deciding the championship. Yeah, they're driving down the middle of the road. That's Tanda. Good job, just keep it up. We can see him driving down the middle. In the middle. Lowndes not happy. They need to keep the circuit breakers in on all the drivers here. Emotion is going to be the enemy. Lap time for Wind Cup was a 36.9. For Tanda, a 37 even. For Lowndes, a 37 even. race leader of course is Todd Kelly he's fifth at the moment Bright Wilson Morris and Owen Kelly have yet to take their compulsory stop while Todd skips away the round winner here from last year it's this little group behind that matters most locked front brake then for Wind Cup on the run into the hairpin There'll be a few more to come, you'd think, with 14 laps left. But this is the moment where Garth Tander has to hold his nerve. No mistakes can be afforded. To go, break 14 to go. Okay. Craig Lowndes' job is to put as much pressure on car 16 as he can. Jamie Wincup's job is to get as far away from car 16 as he can. can keep his cool, he will be in the box seat for the title that he's always wanted. Big 
awkward thing here for all parties involved is one tiny slip up can change the outcome of the championship. That was the risk of the extra slower laps that Tander did that puts him back in this little battle and it raises the possibility of drama. And you think at this stage of the oh. season as Greg Murphy goes spinning off. To the exit of... Uh, Lost down there at five, I think, yeah. down towards Siberia. Yeah, it's a bit confused. Up over at Lukey Heights, and Lowndes continues to have a look at the rear right side of Garth Tander. Nine months, 14 rounds now. All these races, this will explain what happened to Greg Murphy. So it's coming out of turn four into effectively turn four A. And then he ended up in the middle of nowhere. It was four, and then I, I second guessed myself. It didn't look right, but uh, those two had a great battle on the Gold Coast a few weeks ago. And, uh, looks like it's ended in tears on that one. Turn two. A little seesaw battle going on. Strengths and weaknesses in all three cars. Todd Kelly's disappeared. He's. He's gone, he's going to win this race unless something weird occurs. Little pressure game, Lowndes throws it up on the curb. You hear the stones on the inner guards. Lowndes actually back to second here for turn five. He often does that here. We saw shots earlier in our coverage of some drivers just running through there in third trying to look after their right rear tyre. See, the thing for Garth Tander, while they, this may not appear to be a comfortable position, it's comfortable enough for the championship. Wing Cup hasn't pulled away enough places to get enough points on top of him. Once Max Wilson and Paul Morris at the head of the field pull into pit lane, we get a corrected championship order as well. Morris is out of it. He's into pit lane. Russell Ingalls got a black flag for a driving infringement. And that was on Greg Murphy down at turn four. One car yet to do the compulsory stop. Ooh, this is nasty. Oh, Marcus Marshall. What a wicked ride. Way off to the outside of turn one. And you hold your breath that there's not a, a tire wall or an earth embankment out there somewhere, but he skated out the other side okay. Real pressure now on Tander because Lowndes is uncomfortably close to the man in car 16. You get glimpses of colour in all three mirrors. You'll see the car behind in the left mirror, the rear view mirror and the right mirror. And Lowndes is maximising that nuisance value at the moment as you would do. He's ducking, diving, poking, probing. He's looking to try and make Tander commit some kind of error. Been a very clean fight so far. Todd Kelly is skipping, skipping away. Max Wilson yet to pit the final laps. Russell Ingalls served his drive through penalty and uh, took a couple of millimetres off the Dunlop rear tyres on the way out the pit lane to just demonstrate his frustration with that. Interesting thing here that if Garth Tander were to yield to Craig Lowndes, he then relies on Todd Kelly to win in order to protect his championship lead. And that's high risk. 
You've only got to have a mechanical failure or some other drama for Todd, and all of a sudden there's a problem. So if Todd didn't stay where he was and Garth Tander yields to Craig Lowndes, Jamie Wincup is the champion. Bargy bargy for the Jack Daniels car of Shane Price and Stephen Johnson. Advantage Junior. Started way back there, eh? Hey? I spoke to Larry in the garage before this race and uh, he, he was hoping just to get through the remainder of the weekend with the cars like this and he nodded towards the car, neat, clean and shiny. No, no unnecessary money spent. So seeing both the cars touring the paddock won't put a smile on his face. Also caught up with young Jack, just said good day. It was nice to see him. You've got a feel for him a little bit out of the saddle at the moment. Tiny little puff of smoke came out of the front right of Wing Cup around turn four. The margin that Todd Kelly was showing earlier is starting to disappear a little. Matthew Nilsson, engineer for Garth Tander, Simon McNamara, head of Holden Motorsport in the background. You know, I just saw something there I haven't seen for a long time, was GT looking in the mirror to see what was going on behind him. He doesn't do it often, but he has to do it here because everything's hanging on it. They would have an uncomfortable feeling in their stomachs at the moment. The Triple Eight gang are doing absolutely everything right at the moment, as much as they can do. They know coming into a race like this when you're down seven points, there's not much you can do. You just punch away and do the best you can, but they've got a very strong position here. Uh, One slip up. And so Craig... Uh, maybe he's run out of tyres or he's trying to to uh, shuffle it all up again. We've just got to get on, keep some pressure on, uh, on Tanda. So, Lowndes asking what's the matter with Todd's car. Well, now that all the field has completed their pit stops, we can give you an accurate championship picture as they stand. With Todd Kelly leading this race, Jamie Wincup and Garth Tanda, well, Garth Tanda now has a four point lead as they stand. Tanda 627, Wind Cup 623. Under 10 laps to go. We wanted to give you a good idea of the gaps between the key runners then. Rick Kelly here is in 10th, just ahead of young Lee Holdsworth. One and a half seconds is the margin. Todd Kelly to Jamie Wind Cup. So that number just keeps bleeding back a bit at the moment. Mark Winterbottom here in fifth. Courtney in behind, then Scape. sound fantastic all three of these cars working pretty well and all three drivers getting every last ounce of performance from them Todd Kelly's lap time 1 minute 36.9 wind cut 36.7 Tanda 36.7 Lowndes 36.7 they are separated by thousands of a second nobody's blinked Point three seconds first to second. It's going to be a four car battle in a heartbeat. That's the fascinating thing with Todd Kelly's tyres going off. If Jamie Wincup can round him up, if Wincup wins this race, Garth Tander has to finish second to be ahead of him on points. Third's not good enough. It's 24 points for a win, 20 for a second, 17 for third. And so if Win Cup can get a sniff of climbing up over Todd Kelly here, it's worth four points. Guess what? That's the difference in this championship as they stand at the moment. 
just incredible. 24 yeah, years of age. Then, Keep pushing seven to go. You can do it, mate. And here he is within a whisker. Of the 07 title. Just get the feeling something's going to happen. I've got sweaty palms. <laughs> Not breathing terribly well here at the moment. There's nothing in this. It's 0.8 of a second between Todd Kelly and Jamie Wincup. Look, look at the numbers again. Wincup, Tanda, and Lowndes all doing virtually the same lap time. Goodness me. First sector splits, and Steve Owen's car was running rough the last time it went by. Todd Kelly, 28.8. Jamie Wincup, 28.8. Garth Tanda, 28.8. Craig Lowndes, 28.8. <laughs> They are locked in the most serious combat that I can recall for a championship. And I asked every single one of these guys, what about this moment? When it comes to the moment, what do you draw on to deliver, to know that you have to get through the other side? For Jamie Wincup, he looks at things like Bathurst and Sandown. For Garth Tander, he looks at things like other championships that he's won especially also for Jamie, back to Formula Ford as well. And for Garth, the knowledge that he's delivered 15 race wins already this season. So they've all got previous experience that says, this will give me the confidence when the crunch comes. 37-2 Todd Kelly, 37 even for Jamie Wincup, 36-8 for Lowndes, 36-8 for Garth Tander, and it's 0.6 between first and second. So the two fastest cars in this group are third and fourth at the moment. He's getting closer and closer to Todd Kelly. Talked at the top of both shows today and yesterday. Mark Dutton, Jamie Wincup's engineer, about how we knew that they were great teams backed by great engineering groups, in great cars with great drivers at the helm. And the thing that would determine this championship was going to be the tiny stuff. It's happening. Leanne Tanders, you can watch. She's a racer in her own right. She knows what it's like to be dicing for a championship. Look at she's putting those fingernails down to the wedding ring. Tander again glimpsing the mirror just has a quick check to make sure that he doesn't have Lowndes poking down the inside into turn eight. Lowndes is so close. Remember as they stand right now on championship points, Garth Tander leads it by four points from Wing Cup. If the positions five remain go, the same, that's how it'll end. But five full laps to go of the Dunlop Grand Finale. bit tailey over Lukey Heights and Garth Tander and Craig Lowndes get together. And this again from on board Craig's car. It was just a very, very light tap. But it's enough to unsettle. But you've got to compliment all of the boys so far on a very, very clean run. You can't take your eyes off it. It's, it's unbelievable. Lowndes had a bit of an oversteer moment out of turn four on the last lap. Todd's just skipped a little bit in the last couple of corners. We'll check the numbers carefully, but you go, can see what's happening. There's not a lot of chat on the radio. I don't think they really care about laps at the moment. It's just position, position, position. They're all maxed out. 0 0.7 is the margin, first to second. 37-3 Kelly, 37-4 Winkup, 37-2 Tanda, 37-2 Lowndes. Just remarkable racing. Kelly holding his position at the front. That's the turn where everybody holds their breath. 
Craig lost just a little bit of ground coming out of there on the previous lap. Just picked the throttle up a bit hard. The car slid. Again, he's millimetres from the rear bumper of Garth Tander. Current point scenario. Garth Tander on 6.27, Jamie Wincup on 6.23. That could change if there's a lead change. Reiterating the way the points are scored, it's 24 for a win, 20 for a second, 17 for a third, as again, Lowndes just rattles away on the rear bumper of the Toll HSV car. Three to go. 37-2 for both Todd Kelly and Jamie Wincup. 37-5 for Garth Tander. 37-4 for Craig Lowndes. 0.6 of a second between first and second. This is in the toll garage when Craig Lowndes was giving uh, Garth Tander a bit of a touch up at the bottom of Lukey Heights and Leanne just couldn't believe it. And it was Ron Hammett and the team PR in the middle there. and. Uh, they are no doubt biting their nails down there. I'll tell you what, if Tanner can hold on to this ooh, position. Ooh, 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 another little contact, another, another and another. He's having a bit of a shove now. He's actually got him. He's got him. Will this ignite things? Tanner's dropped the spot. Both battle groups. What do, look at this, he's coming back, Tander, down at turn eight. He'll give as good as he got. And he just drove straight to the rear of me and got into me and just pushed me out of the way. Mate, patience, patience. We can still, we're still going to win it if it means it is. It's okay, just be patient. Matty's told you. To go. We're looking okay. Matty's told you the story. And that's exactly right. He's a dirty little thing, isn't he? Focus, mate, focus. It's still okay. Yeah. And Matty Nilsson's saying all the right things. Just don't worry about it. Focus. This also makes Todd Kelly's position absolutely crucial. That's right. Because I'll tell you what the championship points are right now as Triple Eight celebrate Craig Lowndes' move. Garth Tanner still leads the championship. It's 625 points, playing 623 points now. But if Todd Kelly can't hold on to this race win, he can't protect his Holden counterpart. That'll be the big difference. Unbelievable. Win Cup's done everything right. He's driven a beautiful race. And he's just, just metres from the back of Todd Kelly's car. And that margin that you can see is the difference between the 2007 championship or not. How tantalisingly close. In the end, it came down to two men fighting on the table. But in the final laps, it's come down to four men dicing on the track. Every single one of them having their own impact. Last lap, mate, last lap. 37-5 for Todd, 37-3 for Jamie, 36-9 for Lowndes. He's found some pace and a 37-7 for Garth Tander. And it's 0.6 of a second between Todd and Jamie Wincup. Less than four and a half kilometres will decide the 2007 Australian V8 Supercar Championship. And in many ways, if Todd Kelly can hold on to this race win, he can take a piece of that title as well. Garth's just backed away now. He know he's been told the critical thing. He's been told what to do. He can only sit there, watch, wait and hope. For Jamie Wincup, you throw everything you've got. You're two car lengths behind. 
and you've got four corners to run in this championship. Can he claw back the margin to Kelly? Probably not, but he'll try and maintain hope. He's done absolutely everything asked of him in 2007. He's delivered at Sandown with Lowndes. He did it again at Bathurst. He's won rounds. He's just been outstanding. They all have. That was the critical corner. Jamie's got to within a couple of car lengths, but I don't think it's going to be enough. But you've got to dip your hat to a brilliant performance from him and his team in 2007. In the end, there will be just metres in it and only a couple of points to decide it. As Tom Kelly takes out race three. Garth Tander. He is the winner for 2007 from Toll HSV. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. It's taken me 10 years to get here. Thanks so much for the opportunity. Thank you, mate. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Thanks very much, mate. The big West Australian gets the biggest prize on offer in Australian motorsport. What a race. What a year. With the team boss here, Rob Crawford. Rob, that was absolutely amazing. What a nail biter. Yeah, oh, that's a championship you'll, um, you'll never see again, I don't think. For a man who's given up smoking, that's, that's been tough work. Yeah, well, I tell you what, we might have a few beers in the bar tonight and, um, you know, uh, I'd like to say thanks to my wife and uh, the three kids sitting at home watching it because they go through the pain. It's been super, super hard. You've done a great work. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Cheers. Roland Dane, that looked like a battle of steely nerve and determination. Have you ever seen such a high-pressure cooker situation like that? It's good. It's good. It's very good to watch, and uh, there were it was um, championship was uh, concluded in a way which was very good for the sport. Um, you know, we missed out by a couple of points, I think, in the end, so it's nothing. Uh, but uh, I take my hat off to all the guys there because they drove uh, well and cleanly and gave us great entertainment. One position meant the difference between winning the championship or not. But are you still very proud of this boy? He's a star, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, Jamie did a brilliant job, and at the end of the day, the guys who, uh, Garth and Jamie, both um, excelled during the year, and uh, they uh, deserved uh, their Mark positions in the championship now. And, yeah, hats off to Garth, he's done a good job, he's won a lot of races during the year. Uh, we could have won the championship before now, and so could he, but for the sake of entertainment and everyone, we've taken it down to the last lap. Well, we enjoyed it, we're all on the edge of our seats for the entire race from start to finish. Well done for playing such a stunning part of this championship this year. No problem. Yeah, absolutely. Ditto the remarks of Garth Tander. They've been an awesome team. The Triple Eight team and, of course, the Toll HSV team have taken it right down, not just to the final race of the final round, but the very last lap. Well, that was a, an extraordinary race. I think uh, both men that spoke then spoke appropriately. Rob saying, I don't know that you'll ever see one like that again. And, and Roland suggesting that all of the boys who participated did an awesome job. And there's the outcome. Todd Kelly by 0.8 of a second. Jamie Wincup, Craig Lowndes and Garth Tander. And Garth Tander champion by just two points in the end analysis. Great work from both teams. Beautiful driving from all of the key drivers. And uh, that's an outstanding championship. Don't know what to say at the end of all that, but probably thanks to the guys. They've put on a great show. There's John Bow in his far, the final race, 23rd. But this is what he's been waiting for, the lanky West Australian, in a season where he's put down 15 race wins. Three pole positions. And at the end of it all, 37 races and 14 rounds, only two points could separate Garth Tander and Jamie Wincup. Craig Lowndes finished third in the championship of 07.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Dunlop Grand Finale has been just that. One of the most exciting finishes in V8 Supercar history. To make the presentation on the podium, would you please welcome Judith Swales, the Managing Director and Chief Executive of South Pacific Tyres Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, in third place in the Dunlop Grand Finale, from Team Vodafone, Jamie Wincup. Jamie, congratulations. You made this championship one of the closest fought we've ever seen. Well done. Thank you, Mark. Uh, it's been an amazing season for me uh, this year. Thanks to everyone at Team Vodafone, you did a great job. Well done to the Toll Guys and uh, GT, you did a great job and uh, look forward to coming out next year for uh, something bigger and better. Thanks, Jamie Wincup. Congratulations. In second place for the Holden Racing Team, Todd Kelly. Todd, congratulations. A great way for the team to finish the year. Yeah, thanks, Mark. But uh, it's all about uh, Holden and Garth and the Toll Boys. You blokes have done a fantastic job all year. So well done. It's, uh, it's well deserved. And thanks to all the boys down there in red for uh, everything they've done for me over the years. Thanks, guys. means a lot. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Dunlop Grand Finale for Toll HSV, Garth Tander. <laughs> Garth, congratulations. This is a moment to enjoy. It was a thriller as we came into this weekend and even in the last minutes of that final race. <laughs> oh, well then, 
What a championship. The last four rounds are just unbelievable. And then this weekend, after Tassie to fight back like that by our guys, we had a bad qualifying. And to turn the car around with the way they did was absolutely unbelievable. It's sort of still sinking in. But thanks so much to all our guys. Their effort all year this year has been second to none. Thanks to all our sponsors, the Toll, Holden, HSV. All the boys back at our workshop, everyone involved with the race team. Yeah, unbelievable. Thank you. Gareth, we'll let you take the podium for the round presentation. And Judith Swales making the presentation on behalf of South Pacific Tyres Australia. And next up, we're presenting the 2007 V8 Supercar Championship Series winner. And presenting the V8 Supercar and Australian Touring Car Championship trophies is the chairman of V8 Supercars Australia, Mr Tony Cochran, and the president of the Confederation of Australian Motorsport, Mr Colin Osborne. Presenting the trophy to the 2007 V8 Supercar Championship winner, Patol HSV, Garth Tander.